Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're looking at On the Future Prospects for Humanity by Martin Rees. Lord Martin Rees is Astronomer Royal and has been Master of Trinity College and Director of the Institute of Astronomy at Cambridge University. As a member of the UK's House of Lords and former President of the Royal Society, he is much involved in international science and issues of technological risk. That was all taken directly from the jacket of this book. And Reese has also written a number of other books. On the Future Prospects for Humanity is Martin Reese sharing his thoughts on the general situation that we find ourselves in regarding our world and the state of our technological and ethical development as a species now and as we move into the future. The book is organized into five chapters, each one on a different aspect of our situation. Chapter one is deep into the Anthropocene, which covers things like nuclear threats, population management, climate change, and clean energy. Next is humanity's future on Earth, focusing on biotech and artificial intelligence. Then we move on to humanity in a cosmic perspective, looking outside of our planet and the possibility of finding life and alien intelligence. Then there's the limits and future of science, which looks at the relationship between us, science, and our universe, as well as the idea of other universes and simulated universes. Chapter 5 is Conclusions, which is about just doing science. A couple themes that come up in this book are the balance between the promise and the hazards of new technologies, and how we as a species deal with the two sides of this issue. He also repeatedly mentions the importance of planning long-term and globally, and how our failure to do this has been and will be disastrous. Being a book about future possibilities, some pretty neat ideas are mentioned, some of which sound like they came straight from a sci-fi novel, like 3D printing artificial organs for transplant, or even digitizing our own consciousness. And with things like that, we get into the deeper implications of how this relates to an idea like the self or identity. Another interesting aspect about this book is that it came out in 2018, and we can now compare some of the things he says with what we see today. For instance, he mentions moving from government-led to privatized space travel and the importance of unmanned space exploration. And he strongly stresses committing R&D into clean energy, as well as improving ef efficiency and reusing as much as possible. He says we should repair and reuse rather than replace. He briefly mentions how a pandemic could, could come along at any time and upset the entire planet. And of course, the year after this book was published, that actually happened. Listen to what he says regarding the initial phase of a possible pandemic. Quote, For instance, whether or not a pandemic gets global grip may hinge on how quickly a Vietnamese poultry farmer can report any strange sickness. End quote. This was not far from what we actually did see. This book had a lot of interesting things to think about, but in my opinion, the delivery was not spectacular. I did not feel that Reese is a very gifted writer, while well, obviously a very brilliant man. This book wasn't as interesting to read as I thought it would be, but of course, this is just my opinion. A few times while reading this, I felt like this book was like a less interesting version of Michio Kaku's the Future of Humanity, which I reviewed, and I'll link in the description. And these books came out about the same time, too. But I do think that Reese made some pretty important observations, some of them more obvious than others. Like all the scientists I've read, Reese advocates for a change from the mindset of indiscriminate consumption. There are a couple good nuggets in this book, like... We have enough for everyone's need, but not everyone's greed, which is a Gandhi quote, and we're destroying the book of life before we've read it. Ultimately, the book was good, but not great. 
I think I'd probably rate it higher if I hadn't already read Michio Kaku's The Future of Humanity. Have you guys read either of these two books? If so, what do you think? Also, do you know of any other good books that are on this topic? Now, I want to leave you with one more question. In this book, Reese asks, If there was some way that you could send a tweet back in time to humanity in the distant past, what bit of information do you think would most profoundly affect our understanding of our place in the universe? And Reese's answer to this question is that the fact that everything is composed of a surprisingly small variety of these things called atoms, and I thought this is a pretty good answer to the question, but I would love to hear what you guys think. If you're up for it, let me know your answer. Or even if you could send back any information at all, what would it be? Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, check out On the Future Prospects for Humanity by Martin Rees.